is the exact word that I would describe uh, Spencer Applebox's comeback after the Grand Canyon start, uh, along with our entire pitching staff, and to build on that, the, the uh, you know our entire team, you know, just briefly. Uh, you know, Northern Colorado baseball has probably been bit by the injury bug more than any other team in the country. And we made a, you know, conservative effort to not raise the white flag, not to roll over, not to complain or make excuses, but to move forward. And I think that's what's happened with our team. Other guys have stepped up and our pitching staff as well. Guys have, you know, changed roles a little bit and, uh, you know, put the pieces together when they matter the most. The versatility of the infielders, the fact that we have, uh, you know, seven, eight guys that can play three positions, four or five guys that can play two positions. And so as the guys have gotten hot and cold offensively and de defensively, and as we found a level of consistency, um, that versatility has come in handy because it's allowed us to kind of settle into this rotation we have, uh, have today. And so uh, Brandon moving back to a position he played at the junior college level on last year uh, kind of shores up that, that, that left side of the infield and, uh, and makes us feel pretty comfortable moving forward. You know, we always want them to improve and get better and realize that there's legs and portions of the season. And, you know, one thing we talk about is always improving through each third, you know, 15, 20 games. We want to see improvement. You know, if you come in a 275 hitter at the beginning and end the season there, you know, I haven't done my job and, and that individual hitter hasn't do, does his job. So we've just really been stressing individual adjustments to guys. Um, you know, a big thing that I think has really helped uh, myself and the hitters is, uh, you know, I've moved from being a, a base coach at third to being in the dugout with the guys. Um, you know, it, it helps me communicate um, with them right after an at-bat or right before an at-bat. And I, I think we're starting to see some uh, payouts uh, for making that move. For them to continually go deep in games and save our bullpen, whether it be for matchups or, or just innings as we get into the long haul moving into May, is huge for us. You know, uh, looking at the whole body of work, our, our pitching staff isn't going to wow you statistically. Uh, the walks are up a little bit. I'd like to see the ERA down. However, for those guys to give us a chance to win, save the bullpen until the latter half of the game, uh, it has been huge for us, and, and then we don't run thin later on in the weekend and moving forward into weeks to come. Now, I think JCAC is, is an exceptionally talented and athletic collegiate shortstop, and a lot of times he's the, he's the victim of his own athleticism. He, he can get to balls and put himself in the positions that a lot of other shortstops would just let go for a hit. Um, I think he's done a good job of not riding the waves, staying consistent, following our plan, and uh, you know now we're kind of seeing the, the you know the fruits of his labor. He's he's turned some some big double plays for us in key times, uh, especially in this most recent series. It's big. We've been hammering it all year. You know, just competing with two strikes. You know, I don't think there's any measure uh, that that lets a opposing team know how competitive an individual is is walk to strikeout ratio or strikeouts to at bats ratio. And you know, you look at a guy like Marco Castilla who's just been phenomenal um, here in the middle half of the season to come on. He's competing with two strikes. Uh, he's going deep in counts. Like you said, he's laying off uh, pitcher's pitches. Um, you know, well, I couldn't be more happy with how the guys got after it this weekend. You know, and I, I, to me, it goes back to confidence. Uh, I think the, the more confident you are as a hitter, the more you're gonna let that ball travel, the more you're gonna trust your eyes. You know, and really make sure that you know you're seeing that pitcher's pitches in the strike zone. Proud is the exact word that I told the guys. Coach Iwasaki had a really good message for the team afterwards, and uh, there was just so many bright spots. So we didn't have till midnight to go around and identify them all. But that's exactly what I said to the pitching staff of the team. Just really, really proud. Uh, after the tough Grand Canyon weekend, like I said, our guys could have you know been nitpicky around the zone out of the bullpen and not attacked. But uh, from Cook. Lautzi, Shiraki, the left-handers, and even the right-handers that came in there and uh, threw strikes and gave our defense a chance. Uh, uh, proud of them would probably be an understatement, correct? That's a testament to a resilient ball club. I think a lot of people are quick to blame field conditions or weather or wind um, for lack of defensive success. But uh, people often forget that both teams have to play in that same environment. And so I think our guys, from a defensive standpoint, did an excellent job dealing with the elements. I think the, the outfield uh, did a really, really good job accounting for the win, even though it was pretty non-traditional um, for here at Jackson Field. 
That was such a proud moment for me to, to see Jensen accomplish that. That was something that, um, you know, I said when Jensen first arrived on campus that he had that kind of ability that, he, you know, he could not, not only break some records but shatter some school records. So that was an incredibly proud moment for me. Uh, I made sure I held on to that game ball uh, to, to give it to him at the end because it's, it's been a pleasure to watch him compete. You know, as far as his growth is, um, you know, I think most of it has been between his, you know, his, his ears. Um, the, the swing has changed. We've made some little adjustments here, but it's just been more, um, you know, teaching him to compete and overcome adversity. Um, you know, there's been a lot of times not only, you know, has the opponents been tough, I've been tough on him, and he's found a way to, at the end of the day, be consistent through all of it. And I think we're seeing that now this year is, no matter who's on the mound, no matter what the situation, you know, he can be a consistent hitter and, and have just a great quality approach and trust his abilities.